So it, it's, it's really funny how things work, right? So this whole season, I've been critical and saying that the Eagles medical staff needs to be fired. They need to be replaced because they're doing a poor, a very poor job. All right. Just look at the laundry list of injuries that we have this year. We have players coming back from injury last year just to get re-injured again. We have players that come back from last year's injury and they're still consistently getting hurt here and there. And we have players getting hurt from last year, coming back and then getting re-injured again for more season ending injuries. And we have people getting hurt last year that well, they just haven't made it back this year at all. Okay. And then on top of all the other injuries that we've had this year, you know, and it's funny I say that they need to do something about this medical staff. They need to replace them, fire them, whatever. They suck. They're not doing a good job in keeping this team healthy. All right. So I say that multiple times throughout the year. And when I do say that, I'm being told that uh, I'm using injuries as an excuse. <laughs> right. Now, all of a sudden, Carson Wentz gets hurt. And then today it comes out that it's a little bit more severe than we already thought it was when we already thought it was severe. So, <laughs> now he's going to miss the rest of the season. A fractured vertebrae. It's pretty serious. Now, the medical staff with the Eagles, they, they, they weren't exactly sure, whatever. And Carson Wentz had to go and get a second opinion basically outside of the Eagles uh, medical staff to get that diagnosis. And the, the bad thing is, is the, <laughs> the, the bad thing is, is Carson Wentz wasn't even aware of the severity of his back injury. He wasn't even aware of it. They didn't tell him. And apparently Doug Peterson and the coaching staff didn't know either. I can't believe that if Doug Peterson knew, he would put him out there. There's no way in my... Carson Wentz or anybody else with that kind of injury. I can't see Doug Peterson the kind of guy that would risk somebody else's career like that. I just don't see it happening. But the front office knew. I don't know who in the front office, maybe everybody, but the front office knew. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Because what that does, the message that that sends to the team, that you knew about something like this to your franchise quarterback, if you're going to put your franchise quarterback at risk, what does that say about anybody else on that team? It's unbelievable, man. This situation, it's unprecedented. Like, <laughs> we're, we're just setting new standards. Maybe this is the new norm. You know, now this could be a, a, a lawsuit because this not only put Carson Wentz's career on the line, but it put his livelihood on the line. All it would take is just one hit of really any kind. It don't even have to be a big hit. And we're talking about Carson Wentz being in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. You know, this kind of information is just a little bit important for him to know. You know, so we, we, could, be, we could be witnessing a potential lawsuit coming up. And the, the, the trust factor that Carson Wentz or anybody else on the team has in this organization now, this front office... It's, it's pretty damaged, I would imagine. I mean, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't see this as an easy fix. This situation, I don't see it as an easy fix. Now, what could have happened is the medical staff relayed this information about Carson's back to the front office. They might not have released all of the information. So maybe Jeffrey Lurie or Howie Rhythm or whoever they released this information to in the front office, maybe them, maybe they're, maybe they're innocent, kind of, in this situation.
because maybe they weren't given the full details of Carson's injury. I mean, I don't know. I would love to think that Howie Roseman and Jeffrey Lurie and everybody else aren't those kind of people that, to, to do that. So, you know, I, I, I'm i worried now for the future of this team because now if, if it is – if it comes to be that Carson Wentz don't have trust in this organization now, in this front office, what's to say he don't sign that long-term contract and once his rookie contract's over, he hits free agency and goes somewhere else? What's to say that that don't happen? As much as I don't want it to happen, I mean, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to blame him. I really wouldn't. As much as I hate to say it, I would not blame him. And also, for the rest of the, for the rest of the guys in the locker room, what's to say that they're going to think the same way? Nah, they don't want to re-sign a long-term extension or just re-sign in general. Like, no, man, they're putting my livelihood at stake. No, you can't try. You lose trust, man. You don't have nothing. And that also sends a message to the rest of the league also. The, the future free agents coming up. Why would they want to sign with the Eagles? I mean, this is a big deal, man. This is a, this is a really, really big deal. And, and, you know, we don't have all the details, of course. But from what we know now, this is a big deal. I, I just hope that Carson Wentz recovers. I don't want, at this point, I definitely don't want to see him back on the field this year. I want to see him fully recover. And think about this too, to just kind of sidestep a little bit from this and look at the, the, the Foles versus Wentz saga. Because to me, it's more about the wings on the helmet than the name on the back, you know. But for some reason, there's this dilemma. So think about this though, in terms of this dilemma, the, the quarterback Foles versus Wentz. Wentz is coming back off a, a torn up knee, a big, severe injury. And apparently for some time this season, he's been playing with a bad back. And he's still able to put up the numbers and, 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 and do what he did. It's pretty amazing to me. I mean, in this whole injury thing, to me, it explains a lot as to why he's played the way he has. And it's funny because he's put up great numbers and he's played overall not bad. But people think he sucks and he's and he took a step backwards. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in between the ears, I believe, with Carson Wentz. Just to come back, it's, it's a mental thing. Just coming back from his knee injury. And then you throw this on top of it. You know, it's, it's a lot for him. But yet he was still able to, to accomplish a lot on the field, statistically. So uh, there's no doubt in my mind that he will come back stronger than ever. Last year, to me, that was his true form, and he can grow on what he did last year. So uh, I, I'm, I'm, there's no doubt that I'm confident in Carson Wentz and his future. I'm not worried. I just don't want to see him back on the field this year and, and, and risk his career. You know, it, that, that would make no sense. So I, I, wanted, I want him to just get to, the, get to the doctor's office, man, do what he has to do, surgery, whatever the case may be, and just start working for next year. Because it's not worth risking his career, man. So, and by the way, if uh, the next time, <laughs> just remember, I had the right to say, uh, I told you so about this medical staff. I told you so. They're trash. And it takes something like this for people to open their eyes and realize that this medical staff is a problem without me using injuries as an excuse as to why the season has gone the way it has. Get out of here, man. So, uh, Nick Foles, rest of the year, that's what it is. He's a good quarterback. And I always have faith in Nick Foles. Carson Wentz is a better overall quarterback. And I'll just leave it at that.
Carson Wentz needs to get healed up, man. He needs to get better. And I hope this thing is not as bad as it seems, this whole ordeal with the, the medical staff and the front office knowing but not, they're not relaying the information to the coaching staff or Wentz. We'll find out. We don't have all the details, but we'll find out. That's it, man. I want Carson Wentz to get better.